come and cry. You are welcome to teach and win. Thank you very much, sir. Please tell us your name. Please tell us My name is Dafolabi Florence Olufunke. My code is 007FA. I'm going to be teaching SS2. That's grade 11. Okay. What subject will you be teaching? Catering craft practice. Oh, good. And topic? Milk and its products. Wow. Welcome. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, Florence, welcome. Thank you, ma. What's your objective at the end of this lesson? By the end of the lesson, the students should be able to define milk, state examples of um, animals that produce milk, and then um, state um, milk products, at least three milk products. Right, you have about five minutes. So if you press that blue button, it's going to give you five minutes. Okay. 007, I have an assignment for you if you choose to take it. All right. Your five minutes have started now. Okay, thank you so much. Now we are familiar that there are some animals that give birth to their young ones alive. And then those animals also have another characteristic, another major characteristic that they all have. May I ask if anyone knows what other characteristics such animals have? Those animals that give birth to their young ones alive? They breathe. They breathe? They breathe. Oh, well. you're, you're, you're correct, but God bless you, Ma. Thank you so much, Ma. They, they breastfeed. That means that they are able to produce milk, and that is where the topic comes in. They are able to produce milk. So all animals that are able to give birth to your, their young ones alive are also able to breastfeed the young ones. And then examples of such animals, um, so milk, now the definition of milk is that it is a creamy liquid produced by all female mamas. All female mamas produce milk, and they also give birth to their young ones alive. Examples of animals that produce milk, may I have examples? We all know the animals that are mammals. Cow. Cow, God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Another one. Dogs, yes, ma. Thank you so much, ma. We also have rats. That is not so common. We don't know rats breastfeed their babies. They all do. Rats, rats breastfeed their babies. They give birth to their young ones alive. And we also have dolphins. Even though they live in water, they are mammals. They produce milk and they give their young ones milk. So that is that about the definition and the examples of animals that produce mammals. And that will take me to the nutritive values of milk. Milk gives one major nutrient, which is protein, that helps us repair our body tissues and make us to grow. They also give us carbohydrates, they give us calcium to make us have strong bones, and then they have minerals too, that are part of um, the nutrients of milk. And now that takes us to make products, may I ask please examples of these we should note that the most commonly used milk is cow milk. This is an example of a cow milk. That's the most commonly used milk. All other milks are suitable, they are edible. All the other animals I've mentioned, they mix, they, the milk they produce are edible for all humans and they are suitable for their young ones too. But the most commonly used milk around us is the cow milk and this is an example of a cow milk. Now back to milk products. May I ask for examples of milk products that we are aware? Of cheese. Cheese, yes, my God bless you. My cheese is an example of meat product. Yes, sir. Lactogen. Lactogen baby food. <laughs> that is that is like a meat dish. You are correct, but not entirely correct. That is like a meat dish. There's a difference between meat dish and meat products. So mommy is correct. Meat, um, cheese is an example of mixed meat products. We classify it under the uh, milk that, um, that are not fermented, and we have yogurt too, under fermented milk products. So here we have examples of milk products. We have milk, which is a major food here, and then the cheese is a milk product, and then yogurt is also a milk product. One is fermented, the other one is unfermented. Yogurt is fermented, and then cheese is not fermented. And then we have another one, which is cream, cream, is what we use in covering cakes sometimes, the wheat peat, and then they use it in covering cakes. That is also fermented. So thank you very much. Thank you. You've done well for time. Let's start off with you, Doctor. Thank you, Florence. Thank you, ma. Um, you've done well. You, you have your objective.
objectives you have met, you've let us know the new trends and um, the mammals that um, breastfeed. Because I didn't know dolphin breastfeeds as well, mm. so you, um, you made me know that today, which is good. The information you've done your research. And also, I see you, you did not use the smart board at all, so you decided to um, do your teaching orally. Now, um, you brought in the milk, but it would have been nice to come in with cheese and you bought, you know, <laughs> <laughs> to show... That's a little 10,000 there, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, so that we could see, because that's um, understanding. Some in your class maybe will not know what yogurt is, because I think it's a bit expensive, but you've done very well. You've um, listed them. You also have... You corrected us as well. You know, you've given us the difference between the blended milk and the fermented milk, you know. And um, that's one good thing. You achieved your objectives. You used your time very well. You were confident in what you were saying. And you passed on the message very well. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Okay. Prof. Um, yeah, I'll follow up you with okay? Yes, sir. Uh, well Thank you, sir. Welcome. You, you did very well, you communicated to us. You brought your teaching materials and you, you were loud. You just needed to, make, to add more energy uh, to the work. Then, I don't know if you noticed that we are, we are your students. <laughs> so using my Sir, will not enter into this premise. Okay, yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. You, you know what I'm saying. Now. I understand. So, I only assumed I'm taking adult classes and respect no, no, is also, oh, is also needed around. Okay, okay. Yes. SS2. SS2. So why you now start using master? Okay, sir. Noted, sir. That's what I'm saying. SS2. 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 <laughs> All right. Please, don't, don't forget that we are representing your students. All right. So yeah, I noticed that as a doctor, I forgot you told us this thing, mm. see if you can see now. See, the end of the lesson, you didn't write today's date, today's uh, uh, the topic, the subject, the topic. We just discussed it, but it should be on the notice board. Eh? All right. Uh -huh. And some other issues. You didn't touch this one at all, even though you had all the time to do that. So in the next opportunity, we hope we will cover those areas. I will, sir. Time management, perfect. Yes. Or you, you lost a lot of time. You will have gained more energy or introduced certain other things in this type of... You have almost two minutes waiting. Yeah. So please, talk how to accommodate and include many things in your lesson. Like, you got, we couldn't, milk, we couldn't handle. You will have brought you got fermented or cheese, not fermented, yeah. and some other products. All right, sir. You wouldn't be imagining. Like, I'm already salivating. Yeah. <laughs> I am not going to be grateful for not bringing yogurt or for not bringing cheese because in today in Nigeria, it is just too expensive. I don't even think I would be using a tiki name. I don't even think I can use it at the moment. Full stop. Anyway. But thank you, Prof. Thank you. My thank comments, um, to put them two good things you did, I like you used a process which we referred to as guided discovery. So without saying the word mammal, you got us to speak about mammals, and it's the point that Doctor highlighted that you started to get us to talk about one of the characteristics as being people or um, persons that breastfeed, yeah, or animals that breastfeed, and that's good. So I like that. The process you went through there, just remember it, and I'm sure you applied often and on, but that's the breakdown of the pedagogy behind it. Well done, it's called guided discovery. Thank you. Another good thing you did was you showed good subject knowledge. When I decided, because I have a two-year-old, that I'm gonna speak about lactogen, and you thought, what was that? And I thought, no, not lactogen as in, as it occurs in the human body, but lactogen as in it's a brand name for a milk, and then at least you gave us the subject knowledge of you know what's fermented and what's not fermented milk. So very good for doing that on the spot. In terms of improvements, um, doctor said, okay, You've heard it a few ways already. You've said that you've not used the board so much. Yes, sir. And Dr. said you, it was more an oral presentation. But and that's the thing. It was too much telling. 
Yeah. I know I'm reading your body language as you stand there. I can think you're thinking, oh, there. Well, look, we liked the lesson and you achieved your objective, so you've done well. But nonetheless, it was too much telling. Um, you could have broken it down by asking, even if, it was gonna, even if you weren't going to still write, you could have just still asked us questions and waited for our responses, yes? Or, as you did at the beginning, tease the response out of us, which again is guided discovery. The other thing I would say is, um, what's your pronunciation? Um, I'm not too sure if you're from Ibadan or somewhere. Scrap that, in fact, don't put that on, don't put that on the tape before the Ibadan people come from me. Here's this. It's called the hate factor. I used to work in a school whereby once that was discerned, we may not continue or we'd probably discontinue the interview. But, not to worry, we've seen people work on it before and it can easily be um, ameliorated. But thank you very much, Florence, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing you more in the competition. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay, put in more energy. Oh, yes, sir. More energy next time. We want to see more charismatic stories. Yes, sir. Teach and we, my teacher, my brother.